Hello and welcome. As you can tell by the title, I'm the obsessed movie man, OMM. In the Lego movie, we follow Emmett, played by Chris Pratt, who is an ordinary construction worker minifigure with nothing unique about him. All that changes, however, when he is discovered by Wildstyle, played by Elizabeth Banks, and the wizard Vitruvius, played by Morgan Freeman, who believe him to be the special. The special is the one destined to defeating the evil lord business, played by Will Ferrell, who plans on gluing the Lego world together with crazy glue. Many other characters are met along the way, which include Bad Cop, Good Cop, played by Liam Neeson, Metal Beard, played by Nick Offerman, Princess Unikitty, played by Alison Brea, Benny, played by Charlie Day, and the one and only Batman, played by Will Arnett. While the basic plot structure of the Lego movie is nothing new, look to Star Wars and Lord of the Rings, it is told in a different way, relying on clever humor and cartoonish characters to simplify the story. The humor is terrifically done in this film, with witty writing and great voice acting to deliver the jokes. I was greatly surprised by not only the amount of guest stars that appear in the film, but the amount of characters that show up. It truly seems to be the Who Framed Roger Rabbit of this generation, with its wide selection of characters showing up and interacting together. The scene with Gandalf and Dumbledore talking to each other echoes the scene with Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny in Roger Rabbit. The actors do a fantastic job with their parts, clearly having fun with this film, specifically Will Arnett as Batman. This is most likely the best parody of the Caped Crusader that has ever been presented. He is the biggest stereotype of the character and is most definitely the highlight of the film. Liam Neeson is also extremely entertaining as both Bad Cop and Good Cop with rapid fire personality changes and tons of funny scenes. Another thing that I really liked was the style of animation used in the film. Though it was all created through the use of computers, it was designed to look like it was stop-motion animation, which may or may not be a bit of a reference to all the countless stop-motion LEGO videos you can find on the internet. If it's not a reference, the animation still looks awesome. Speaking of the word awesome, the LEGO movie also has a very catchy song that plays throughout the film which is titled, Everything is Awesome. At first glance, it may seem like a silly song for kids, but no. As the plot of the film begins to unfold, the song surprisingly takes on a whole new meaning, one that appears to be detailing fascism. It's both very memorable and very clever. I cannot think of anything negative to say about the film. Maybe it's too short, but the only reason I complain about that is because it was so much fun, I didn't want it to end. I have not had such a fun time watching a movie like this in a long time. That's the key word. Fun. The Lego movie is so much fun and worth every cent spent on. If you have not seen it yet, what are you waiting for? I highly recommend it. 5 out of 5.